happy Farm Fresh Friday. So today is not a recipe per se, but it is more of an instructional on a prep in the kitchen. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to part out a whole chicken. Now this is good knowledge for anyone who cooks in the kitchen, either whether or not you raised your own chicken and you don't wanna just have a freezer full of whole chickens, you wanna have maybe half of those chickens remain whole and intact and maybe part out the other half for you to have access to the chicken breast, thighs, drumsticks, all of that nature. But even if you're not raising your own chickens, maybe you have a really good sale at the grocery store. And I mean, I've seen some whole chickens going for as low as like 99 cents a pound or less. And if you buy your chickens whole and then you part them out, you can actually save yourself some money at the grocery store. So this is definitely a good skill to have on knowing how to break down a chicken. Leave a comment um, if you like this video and any other farm fresh recipes or uh, many, maybe farm fresh ingredients that you would like to see utilized in upcoming Farm Fresh Friday videos. So the things you're going to need for today is, of course, your whole chicken, cutting board, and a nice sharp knife. Now you could use a chef's knife. I personally prefer a paring knife just because it's smaller, it's easier to get into places and work with. So I'm using a paring knife today. Don't be intimidated. Parting out a chicken is extremely easy. And once you get good at it, you can do it in as quickly as a minute. So I'm gonna show you um, this way that I do it, but as I'm going, I'm gonna also explain to you other ways that you can do it at each step. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get our chicken positioned facing back. The first things that we are going to cut off are our legs or our drumsticks. So I like to kind of loosen it up a little bit and you might hear a little bit of a pop. You hear that pop? That kind of starts to release the joints. Now. I'm gonna go ahead and start in here cutting away the skin. And you can start to see the separation in here. So we're gonna cut as close to these bones as possible because we wanna save as much of that thigh meat as possible. Try and get, make sure you guys can see the angles clearly to see exactly what I am cutting. So I'm gonna cut around the skin. All right. Now, we're starting to get it, you can see that connective tissue. So you can see this little valley in here. We're going to just pop this, and it should, you see that, separates right out. And you just cut around that, and that is your thigh. One thigh done. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Start by cutting the skin through. Save as much of that skin on the drumstick. All right, and then pop it out. So there's our thighs. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to remove the wings. Now the wings are super easy. We're gonna go ahead and just cut around the base here. Cut the skin. And there are some tendons here. Just cut those through. And then just should be able to just pop this out. Why don't you cut those up? Oh, there it is. You'll find it. The joint. And just pop that. There we go. All right, first wing. I kind of butchered that wing a little bit. So you'll see the bone down here. You want to cut down close to there. So we'll get it on the second one much better. There we 
we go. All right, and there are our wings. Now, the next part is super easy. We're gonna take the skin, take the uh, breast, and there are two ways that you can do this. You could use some scissors, and uh, if you would prefer to keep the ribs on the chicken breast, I personally like to uh, take the bones out and save those for stock. But what you can do, oh, I nicked the breast. What you can do is take and use some scissors to just cut right here. So here's the cavity and you can just take scissors and cut through the rib cage all the way to the front and then separate your chicken. I personally, I want to save the chicken breast off the bone. So I'm gonna start find the, um, the uh, sternum here, the breastbone, and I'm gonna shave straight down as close as possible. All right, so you'll, you'll notice that the breast will kind of separate, and I think that is something, I think that's the tenderloin. I'm not sure, but I keep it all intact. And now that I've got that sliced away, go start working our way up. Okay. All right, and you'll start to see you can use these bones as your guide. All right, so now that I'm getting to the bottom, I'm gonna go back to the back and start working my way to the front and just shave the meat off of the rib cage. And there you go, one chicken breast. And it's got this piece that's kind of naturally separated. And I think that's what you buy at the store, that's the tenderloin. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the other side, find the sternum and start off cutting along the sternum. chicken breasts and then you are left with a nice clean uh, carcass and I personally love to save this for making chicken stock and I'm gonna set this aside in the bag and then I will show you how to finish cleaning this up all right so now what we are left with is of course the chicken breasts which those are both done lovely chicken breasts so we're gonna set that aside and then we're gonna go back to our wings. So did you know, I learned, I didn't know this, but whenever you go get some fried wings, you've got, of course, the wings and then the drumsticks. Well, the drumsticks are not these because they're always tiny. The upper arm portion is the actual drumsticks. So we're gonna separate these into uh, wings. So first what we're gonna do is we're going to cut this, this flap here, this section here. This is a little tricky because you want it stretched out as much as possible. There we go, all right, cut that. Now, the joint here, there is uh, tendons. So we're gonna start off by cutting through and finding those tendons. All right, so, and then just, there you go, snap them apart and use your knife and go in and cut that. And then there is your drumstick. And I never keep the wing tip, I toss the wing tip in with the carcass so that I have, um, just for using for stock, there's really no meat on the wing tip. So I use those for, I'm using those for stock. All right, so cut those through. There we go. And separate. And 
then there is your drumstick and wing. Next is the leg. Now I love thigh meat. Uh, it's It's got good fat, good flavor. So now we're gonna do our thigh, our chicken thigh and our chicken, our chicken leg. So we're gonna find the joint here and we're gonna start by cutting around, cutting the skin so that we keep as much skin on the drumstick as possible. There we go. Now as we cut through, we're gonna start to expose the bone, the joint, and you'll just cut through the tendon and separate it right away, super easy. Just cut it, and there you go, drumstick. And I personally like to debone my thigh now, there might be better, more efficient ways, but this is the way that I am finding is the easiest for me. So I'm going to remove the skin. And you can see here that the thigh is just wrapped around the bone. So I start here on the top and just start scoring the meat. And on either side of the bone, running the tip of my blade against the bone where the meat is and just kind of separating it. rolling the bone as I go. Alright. And then once I get to a certain point, I fold the meat and I just run my knife along the bone. And that slices the meat away. And then there will be a uh, piece of, I think it's tendon, cartilage, I'm not sure exactly what it is, um, but this white piece here, you don't want that. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that out. And you might also see some tendons in here. They will be white, and they're usually around where the bone was. So like, see these right here? I'm gonna run my knife under them and just pull, whoop, wee. And then they'll come up and just score along the meat as you pull them away, and there you go. Double check, make sure everything is removed, and there you go, a nice, clean, deboned chicken thigh. And there we go. Look at all of that meat. We got the drumstick, boneless thighs, boneless chicken breast, and wings. And I am excited to get cooking. I hope this video uh, showed you something that you didn't know and that this will help you in either feeding your family with food that you raised or saving money at the grocery store. So be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button so you can see more of our videos. And leave a comment down below if you have other uh, farm fresh recipes or farm fresh ingredients that you would like to see utilized in our upcoming farm fresh Fridays. I've got a lot more chickens to part out, so I'm going to get busy on those. You guys take it easy.